Well, there's some backhoes digging up something real close to the oldest part of a town from the 1830s. I'll get to that later. I was just walking this creek over here and I found a whole bunch of soda bottles. Mostly just hobble skirts. It's from a very common city. And there we have a D patent from Tuscaloosa. And another D patent. And it is from Montgomery. And a patent office one from the later 50s. And it's from York, Alabama. And then when I saw this sticking out, I got pretty excited. It's not the debossed kind, it's the embossed ones, which are pretty tough to find. But of course, the top had to be broken off. And it's from Tuscaloosa, Alabama, which I haven't ever seen one from there. And last, save the best for last, it's an interesting Art Deco soda. I've had one of these in the past. And it's also from Tuscaloosa. So that was a pretty good find. I'm going to go dig the banks because I saw a bunch of trash coming out of the bank. Well, it wasn't that easy getting those things, as you can see. I fell down and got pretty scraped up. It's going to leave a terrible bruise, I'm sure. Then my probe hit me in the arm at the same time. It's going to leave a bruise. That's a pretty bad injury I got from falling down walking across a slippery log. Now there's a good looking creek. I've already picked up a lot of bottles. But as you can see there's a tremendous amount of glass here. Well I found something I missed the first two times coming through. And no it isn't a Vix. It's an Ingram's shaving cream in cobalt blue. It's pretty rare actually. There's another bottle I missed. Not really worth anything. It's worth three or four dollars probably. Well, I've already gone down most of the creek. But then I got to this point. And I didn't want to go through it. But now I got my rubber boots on so I'm going to try and smash my way through here and then we'll get to some stuff I haven't seen yet. Well, it's mostly modern trash from the 40s and 50s. But sometimes you'll find something really old. That's definitely from the 1880s or 1870s. Yeah, definitely almost a Pontal bottle. Another 200 feet up the river. That looks like an 1880s piece. And another piece right beside it that looks also 1880s or 90s. I'm going to work my way through there and get to some spots I haven't seen yet. Well, that was a lot of extra work for one little cobalt bottle. I tore my shirt and got all sweaty and got wet socks and everything. Hmm, that's interesting. 